So get this, an NIH-funded study just vaccinated humans using genetically modified mosquitoes. If this doesn't freak you out, I don't know what will. Uh, this study took place recently in Seattle. A group of researchers were looking to see how they could vaccinate people from malaria using these mosquitoes. And what they did, this, um, this study involved 200 mosquitoes biting humans, and the humans would put their arms in the little whatever thing, and the mosquitoes would come and, and bite them. I don't know why anybody would sign up for that, but apparently participants were paid about four grand to do this, to be bitten by mosquitoes. The mosquitoes carried with them a modified version of malaria. And that modified version uh, was to, it's like really mild. It doesn't really actually make you sick. But the idea is that when you contract this really mild version of malaria from these mosquitoes, that you can't even feel you're basically asymptomatic, you end up developing antibodies to malaria and you're therefore then vaccinated against malaria. And in the study, they said that they used mosquitoes and uh, they actually did end up with three to five vaccinations over the 30 day intervals. And they said that um, yeah, the mosquitoes gave minor versions of malaria that didn't make people sick, but gave them the antibodies and the efficacy from those antibodies last a few months. So it's not, it's not like long-term vaccination by any means. So like every few months, I guess you'd have to be bit by one of these mosquitoes. Now, when asked, they said, we use mosquitoes like they're a thousand small flying syringes. But when asked, well, why don't you just use syringes, right? <laughs> like, why don't you just inject people, you know, with their consent? I mean, obviously in the study, the people gave consent, but what are you going to do with this? science with this research is the big question. So you're going to release mosquitoes out into the wild that carry this mild form of malaria so that you can give people malaria and vaccinate them without their consent. Essentially, a government, I could imagine, would buy the batch of genetically modified mosquitoes and release it to its population, which then what happens to mosquitoes? They get inside of crates, they get shipped around the world, they, they go with people, places, they get transported. So now you're gonna vaccinate the entire world without the world's consent by using this science. I mean, what is the purpose of this science if it's not for that? That's a, that's a really good question. And they said, well, um, the reason why we didn't use uh, the syringes is because it just costs so much. They said that, um, that researchers say genetically modified mosquitoes will not be used at large to vaccinate millions of people. They say, yeah, right. They say, you know, oh, really? They told us that vac we wouldn't have mandates with the vaccines either, and yet we did. They said the reason why mosquitoes were used instead of syringes was to save cost. Eh, it's cheaper. So just use these genetically modified mosquitoes. Bull, if anybody's going to call bull on this, it's you and me, right? Because this is bull. They intend to use this science for something. What is it for? That is a good question. Uh, Dr. Kirsten Light calls the research a total game changer. Excuse me. <coughs> I have a little a mosquito in my throat. I'm being vaccinated. <laughs> Help me. Uh, Dr. Kirsten Light calls the research a total game changer. She led the phase one trials for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine and was a co-investigator for Moderna and Novavax. So there you go. You've got COVID researchers saying, this is great. This is great. Uh, so be on the watch for, and look, I never liked mosquitoes anyway. So now I really, I'm going to be look, look, looking at those little flying suckers like, what you, what you got? <laughs> is this a mandate, a mandated vaccine? Because that's exactly what that would be. So be on the lookout. Um, they're hopefully not out in the wild yet, but how do they know? This is like the lab leak. Did they, did they account for every single mosquito? Did those mosquitoes, did any of them escape from the lab by chance? Uh, you know, it's the mosquito leak theory. All right, guys, um, let's talk about Field of Greens. I absolutely love this stuff. It is a fine powder made from dehydrated whole fruits and vegetables. They're carefully selected to give you the most nutrients in your diet. You just take a scoop of this powder, you mix it into your ice water, and it tastes delicious. It really does. A lot of green drinks, you're like, eh, this stuff is actually really good. And it is a really easy way to get all of your fruits and vegetables into your diet. So if you're not getting enough of all of those colorful fruits and veggies that you're supposed to be eating every single day, which is really difficult, especially when you're on the go, 
Uh, this is a great way to get those in your system. I personally really like the lemon lime flavor. I also like the energy version. I've been using that one lately for working out. That one works really well. Um, they also have a natural flavor. They also have a really great product called Lean on their site when you go there. And I like that one a lot as well. And that is just these little pills. They're made, they're, they're uh, highest quality ingredients and they suppress your appetite. They boost up your metabolism. And those are really, really great. And they don't give you the jitters. At least they don't for me. And I'm very sensitive to that kind of stuff. So, you know, Brick House has really high quality products. I really love their products. I've tried many of them and really, truly high quality stuff. So go to fieldofgreens.com, use the promo code Kim, and you're going to get 15% off your first order.